wild one in Tasmania, and again, she's wow to see her. Ladies and gentlemen, Kavisha Matsana. <laughs> You know, uh, when you say, I'm never, ever going to be like my parents. <laughs> and then, you know, you find yourself yelling at your kid and you say exactly the same thing. And you went, come away from it and going, oh, God. Well, this is about that sort of stuff. It's about the invisible things we inherit and um, the transformation of those things.
a song I wrote about my daughter, and um, I dedicate it to all those people who have accidentally become pregnant. Fremantle on the west coast and um, um, in the summer it is, uh, you get this incredible heat coming over the, the Nullarbor Plain. The east wind drives you bananas, you get hay fever all day and you just, just rotten heat. And then uh, all of a sudden at about four o'clock the Fremantle doctor comes in, that's the wind that comes off the Indian Ocean. <sighs> it's just amazing. People go even more crazy. They get in their cars and they start driving up and down. Believe me, it's a very short street. They drive, it's called South Terrace. Anyway, there are a few good cappuccino bars in that place and I did a lot of research in a certain cappuccino bar. I'd like to thank all the uh, people who helped research this next song. It's about Italo-Australian mating rituals. <laughs> it's called South Terrace. You know she's too young. To smoke cigarettes And if Papa saw her He'd beat her and send her to bed My mama said It's not right To be on the South Terrace tonight Yeah, yeah, yeah Oh, to be on the South Terrace tonight She's teased of her hair, she's painted her nails, she's put on her makeup and shoulder pads, she checks in the mirror.
for the boys on South Thursday night. Yada da. For the boys on South Thursday night. Heroes who may take call. Others be it. Call the door. But will my mama cook for him when I bring him through the door? This is a song called Vivian's Song, and um, it's about T.S. Eliot's first wife, Vivi Vivian, who uh, collaborated with him on a, many a poem, and um, I think the first 40 lines of his very famous poem, The Wasteland, are actually her lines. Anyway, um, Vivian was uh, <clears throat> never really reached, I guess, her full creative flight because uh, her family found her very embarrassing and being of high social standing and not being able to cope with someone as unusual and brilliant as Vivian in their family, they put her in a mental asylum, which was one of the things that you used to do and I think still is done with certain people. Certain families can't stand certain members of their family and they do these sort of things. Anyway, this is tribute to Vivian Elliott and her unsung creativity. You wrote in the day, I wrote in the night, and our words fluttered out like the light of the sun and the moon. Carve out and trace the wasteland on all to live. My spirit with you, no longer to And as we met, speech felt like elders, as through our hands, words just fell down like jewels. Cast me down from your mountain. I a silence and I see wind that tore at me, punished me, left me alone. It was where the war wind made me believe I was someone you knew. You were proud of them, would not have been. Got your wings. You flew all over the world. Oh, I disappeared into a nowhere world. I spun and tumbled. Now every night I pretend you're beside me. 
me, touching my hand and telling me I'm enough. to sing um, um, a traditional Irish song. Um, <laughs> a bit of a worry, isn't it? Uh, this is my most favourite, favourite song on the planet. Next to a few other, a few hundreds, a few other favourite songs. But um, I, I, see, my parents had a deli when I was little and they spent a lot of time working and my memory, early memory of my father is Shh, your father's sleeping. And, uh, and they just worked really hard. And I had this incredible best friend whose parents were really bohemian. And they listened to Fairport Convention records. <laughs> and this was so exciting. Every time I'd go over there, I got to hear a Fairport Convention record. And I, I just loved going over to this house. And this is one of the, this song by Sandy, that Sandy Denny sang. She moved through the fair, just blew me away. And I think it was then I felt like, oh, I really want to sing. And, and it's very exciting to, well, it's like a full circle. It's lovely meeting someone like Dave Swarbrick, who was part of that whole thing that meant so much to a lot of people. I'm very lucky to have him at the festival here. Anyway, I thought I'd do this. Oh, 
She moved through the film Oh, so fondly I watched her Move here and move there Oh, she moved away in Tasmania. I will at the end. Okay, this is, um, I was, I was at an Archie Roach concert and uh, oh, Archie Roach is just brilliant. He's so inspiring. And he said, um, he said at this gig, he said, uh, how can I say that I've suffered more than you? We've got to ask each other is how do we survive? And uh, that stayed with me for a long time and this is how it came out. This came out in the song.
off with an Italian song. I've been billed as an Italian song. <laughs> uh, singer, and it's true, I am. I'm also Burmese, Irish and Scottish. And, um, and I live in an English speaking country and I don't speak Italian very well. well. I sing it better than I speak it. But anyway, I'd like to finish off with an Italian song and I'd like to invite David DeSanti from Wangawili. Give him a big hand. here, Agnello Di Santi, who's um, David's dad, who's going to be playing a very interesting Neapolitan instrument called a tricabalac. It's a tricabalac. So anyone who was at the workshop today, <laughs> you want to have a go at dancing the Tarantella, one last Tarantella in Georgetown. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Are you cured already? <laughs> it worked already. Yeah, you got, uh, well, if you didn't come to my workshop this morning, we were doing the Tarantella. It, it was a very intense experience, right? It was in a tent, too. But, um, I know, it's bad. <laughs> we're dragging out the jokes from the bottom of the barrel here. It's the last concert. Anyway, um, the Tarantella is, um, well, it, it comes from the south of um, and the word tarantella, I mean, it really means dance tune, I suppose, but it's derived from the tarantula spider and also from Taranto, where there were a lot of tarantulas. And Taranto is uh, on this part of the um, um, boot of Italy, yeah? Uh, just just be below the heel, uh, in the middle. What's that called? The instep, yeah, the instep. Now, this is a song from the instep of Italy. And... Uh, <laughs> And what, and it, it really, the whole tradition of tarantellas comes from um, the North African tradition of uh, playing music to cure people. So in those days, uh, they didn't call the doctor, they called the musicians. <laughs> That's when life was really good. <laughs> we drove Volvos then, <laughs> nice big houses. <laughs> anyway, uh, 
they called the tarantelli, and that's what we were. And we do tarantellas. We do tarantellas for toothache, tarantellas for stomachache, tarantellas for depression, and even more tarantellas, even good tarantellas, to make a little bit more money in your business. Huh. <laughs> anyway, that's what they said. The idea comes from the North African tradition of, of playing music over and over and over again until the person was cured. And uh, outside um, uh, in Morocco, outside Tangier, uh, where the music, master m musicians of Jujuka live, there's a special tree, they call the sacred tree, with chains around it. And, and they take a so-called mad person and they chain them up at the tree. And the musicians would come and play over and over again, you know, for days. And uh, if you saw a Bertolucci film, um, Under a Sheltering Sky, there's a scene where the, the hero uh, gets typhoid and he goes down to the village square and he pays the musicians to, to cure him and he writhes around on the ground. The real tarantella really is about writhing around on the ground and believe me, this morning they almost were there. <laughs> <laughs> it was not a pretty scene. <laughs> But they've obviously gone home and had showers and put new clothes on and they look beautiful now. You know, it's very good for the circulation. Anyway, um, we're going to do a tarantella. We're going to finish off now. This tarantella has very deep and meaningful words, which I think you should, uh, in the true folk tradition, know. It says, uh, wow, get down far out. There are so many spunky chicks here today. <laughs> now, we're not talking politically correct, okay? This is tradi folk tradition. Uh, yeah, it's a bit totally sexist. Uh, and, <clears throat> and it says, Puccinella, half dead, wants to make his last will and testament, so he sells his pants for a plate of macaroni. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> And then it says, here, there, here, here, there, there, here, there, here, there. <laughs> it's one of the verses. And then it says, dance, dance, married women and single women, and if you don't dance well, we won't play for you. So there, that's when musicians had a lot of power, <laughs> those days. Anyway, it's good being a Macedonian musician, like you turn up at a wedding, and if they don't keep paying you, you won't play. I mean, I wish just so great. <laughs> they should have a Macedonian musicians union and get some, some sort of action happening here for musicians. <laughs> anyway, here we have the Tarantella. I will say goodbye to you. Thank you for a lovely festival and safe journeys home. And um, here we go. Come on.
she going to get away without another one? Come on. Happy birthday. Sit. 